Hello, my name is Matan Avital, Senior Solutions Engineer at Caminario. In this video, I am going to show how VMware's SRM Site Recovery Manager works with the SRA Storage Replication Adapter of the Caminario K2 All Flash Array. This video demonstrates a failover from the protected site to the recovery site and reprotecting the recovery site. We will go through configuring VMware SRM, installing the Caminario SRA, configuring replication in Caminario K2 and eventually failing over to the protected site. Let's start with a brief description of the environment we are going to work with. This diagram describes both the protected and the recovery sites. In each of the sites, we have a VMware vCenter 5.5 server and a VMware SRM 5.8 server for managing a vSphere 5.5 cluster of two hosts. A Caminario K2 system is located in each site. The K2 of the protected site hosts the data stores of all the virtual machines. The virtual machines data stores will be created automatically on the recovery K2 when starting the replication session. The SRM environment in this demo is already configured with a protected site paired to the recovery site, inventory mappings, and a placeholder volume hosted by the K2. The Caminario SRA is not yet installed, and there are no protection groups nor recovery plans configured. We will set the Caminario SRA, protection groups, and the recovery plan shortly. To install the Caminario SRA, simply use the Caminario installation wizard. After accepting the license and the default path for the installation, the Caminario SRA is installed and is ready for use. The same installation process needs to be done on the SRM server in the recovery site. After installing the Caminario SRA, we need to refresh the SRM in both sites so it will recognize the Caminario SRA. After rescanning for new SRAs, the SRM GUI shows that both SRAs were found and that they are communicating with each other. Now that we have the infrastructure ready, we need to make the two K2s know each other. To do so, we will use the Add PK2 wizard. In order to complete the wizard, we have to provide the name of the remote K2, the management IP address of the remote K2, and optionally, we can limit the bandwidth between the two arrays. Last, we will provide the password for the replication user both in the local and the remote systems. Next, we will create replication sessions for the two volume groups we want to replicate. By using the replication wizard, we see how easy it is to set up replication. Intuitively, we need to select the source volume group, the target K2 array, and a desired RPO for this replication session. It is also possible to select a custom retention policy for the snapshots that the K2 uses as replication points in time. In this video, we will use the default retention policy provided by the K2. The next step will be to choose whether a new target volume group will be created or use an existing one. I will choose to create a new target volume group and the K2 will automatically create all the volumes with the option of auto-generated volume names. In the last step of the wizard, the K2 allows us to review the actions it is going to perform and gives us the option to edit the target volume names. After we created a new application session, the initial sync starts automatically. The initial sync process may take some time, depending on the amount of data to transfer and on the bandwidth available between the two K2 arrays. The K2 GUI includes a comprehensive replication dashboard, which visualizes the RPO status of all the replicated volume groups, total replication bandwidth usage, and connectivity status. SRM provides a wizard to create new array managers. The wizard shows an overview of the configuration we have and then asks us which SRA to use. In this demo, the Caminario SRA is the only available SRA. Next, we will provide the K2 IP address and the credentials for each site and finally enable the array managers. After enabling both array managers, a discovery process starts automatically and both array managers search for any replication sessions between the two K2 arrays. We will create a new protection group and give it a name. We will name ours PG01. Next, we'll select the array based replication as the replication engine for that protection group. 
Next, we need to select which data stores to include in the protection group we are creating. I am selecting the first volume group to be part of the protection group. After selecting the data stores, SRM summarizes all the information of the newly created protection group. I'll quickly go through the creation of a second protection group named PG02. Once the protection groups were created, a recovery plan is required. Using the wizard, I will name the new recovery plan RP01. Next, we'll make sure that the recovery site is the selected one. Now I'm going to select the relevant protection groups, PG01 and PG02. The wizard asks for a test network. We will use the default one. We can enter an optional description and finish the wizard. We can now move on to the recovery test. By selecting the Run Recovery Plan option, SRM asks for the recovery type, whether it is a planned recovery or a disaster recovery, and for the user's confirmation. After clicking the Finish button, the recovery plan starts to run. After all the steps of the recovery plan have completed, the K2 application sessions are suspended and all changes are updated in the recovery site only. In order to complete the recovery, a reprotect operation is needed in order to reverse the replication and resume it. Before we start the reprotect operation, let's review the K2 current state. In the original recovery site, the K2 replication sessions are failed over. In the original protected site, the K2 replication sessions are suspended. To start the reprotect operation, click on the reprotect recovery plan option. After selecting the checkbox, we can click the next button and complete the wizard to start the reprotect process itself. After the reprotect process is completed, we can verify in both Kaminario K2 arrays that the replication is in sync and reversed. In this demo we have seen how to set up SRM for replication with the Kaminario S array, how to set up Kaminario K2 for replication, how to create protection groups and a recovery plan, and how to run a recovery plan and reprotect it in the recovery site. Essentially, we've seen how the SRM is easier with the K2. Thanks for watching, and for more information, please visit us at kaminaria.com. Come visit us at VMworld San Francisco 2015 at boot number 705.